Yo, what's good, my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian, and this is Kingdom Sense. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like on the video because it helps me out a lot. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I know it may not seem like much, but to me, that means that there's uh, a thousand of you guys that like my videos enough to click on it, subscribe and watch my videos. So that's pretty cool. And let's leave a comment down below if, of what you think of the fragrances for the for today's video. I have two of them for you. Um, they're both clone fragrances. They're both from Middle Eastern brands. And um, they're actually both from Mason Alhambra, which is uh, Latafa. And uh, one of them, it, I have smelled and very familiar of one of them. The other one, I have never smelled the original because it's very expensive, hard to get. And if I'm able to get a sample of the original, I will make another video letting you know, comparing the two, letting you know how close it is. But for now, I'm just going to blind uh, react to the scent to see if it even smells good. So uh, the first fragrance that we're going to be checking out is going to be uh, from Mason Alhambra. It's going to be Victorioso Victory. Victorioso Victory. This fragrance, if the box didn't give it away, if uh, the name didn't give it away, um, it is Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory, okay? And um, I'm going to be honest with you, Paco Rabanne's Invictus, the whole DNA, I think that it's a good DNA, especially for somebody that's not very experienced when it comes to fragrances. And if you're pretty new and you just like to smell like, you know, like clean and that, uh, that bubblegum sweetness, then, you know, Invictus DNA is awesome for you. It does smell good. And it did change like the whole game when it comes to designers. But, uh, for me, um, it's, it's a little, I want something a little bit more interesting. And when I smelled Invictus victory for the first time, it gave me something different. It gave me more vanilla and more Amber and stuff like that. So it's still sweet, but it's different. It's not as juvenile, in my opinion. So let's, uh, these are all sealed. These are both sealed, never been opened. And I'm going to have my first impressions with you guys. All right. So let's get our trusty knife and cut into this. Excuse the noise. All right. Wow. That felt like it was just stuck on the box. All right, so I'm gonna go over the uh, the box real quick. So it's a pretty standard um, box, cardboard box. You have the name of the house and the fragrance on there. It's gonna be 100, what is it? Yeah, 100 milliliters. Mason Alhambra at the top. Victorioso and some information on the back. Nothing on the sides. And then you have some information at the bottom that I cannot read. So uh, let's open it up. Now these, this is a very inexpensive fragrance. I'm talking about if you could find it in the right place, sub $20. So, you know, I don't know how to feel about this one. Now I did, I do have the uh, Victorioso legend, which is supposed to be um, Invictus legend. I got that one from th uh, this Mason Alhambra's version of that. And it smells incredible. It's an incredible scent. And I got it for like, I think it was like $15. This one around the same price. Let's see if it's good. So here is the bottle. Uh, same bottle as the last one. Pretty nice bottle. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's pretty good. A thick glass right here. Um, you have a uh, this matte colored uh, cap. It is pretty heavy, but it is plastic. So not metal. Nothing on the atomizer. It is snug, but I would not pick it up from the cap. Um, and you just have the name on the front, nothing on the back, and then at the bottom, a little sticker. Okay, so enough talking. Let's try out and see what um, Victorioso Victory smells like, or if it's any good or any close, if it's close. All right. Let's check out the atomizer. Decent, not bad, not the best. Let's, uh, hmm. 
Okay. All right. So, in my opinion, this is off the top. No alcohol tinge. It's not harsh. It's not uh, abrasive. And I've come to expect that now from these clone brands. Now, before, these clone brands, they were making fragrances and at you would have to wait a few seconds or even a minute before actually the alcohol goes away and then it, and then you can smell it and enjoy it this one off the top you smell it it smells great yeah very very close wow incredibly incredibly close let me try it off skin yeah it's actually a pretty good atomizer nice amount of, of juice all right Oh, it's so much better off the skin. Yeah. Oh man, it smells so good. So, so you have um, it's an ambery fragrance. It's a little bit more ambery than uh, the. Um, it's not as aquatic as the other Invictuses are, like Invictus Aqua and all those. Um, it does have, still has some citrus at the top. You have a little bit of spiciness from the pink pepper. And then you have just smooth, like sweet, but it's not like sickingly sweet. Okay. It's like a, a vanilla tonka bean type of sweetness and it has some amber definitely. And you have like that cleanness from the lavender, which you get right away. It is very, very, uh, designer perfumery, but when it comes to being close to the original, this is as close as it gets. I mean, it's smooth. It's projecting heavily. And it smells very, very smooth. It, it smells very refined, honestly. Uh, it's actually kind of amazing for the price that you could get this, that you could get something so close to something that costs like over $100. Yeah, very designer, very sweet and very smooth oh it's very good very good I, I i'll rate that a as a fragrance i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten as a clone as a, compared to the original i this is the close of 9.5 9.8 out of 10 like it is extremely extremely close to the original if you uh I mean, you take my word for it or you don't have to, but I mean, at Joma shop and other places, you could get this one for sub $20. So it's not going to break the bank and uh, you could try it for yourself. But in my opinion, it is a very, very uh, similar clone, uh, similar fragrance to the original Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory. So if you're looking for that, you don't want to spend that type of money. Go ahead and spend less than 20 bucks and try this one out. All right. So that's going to be my first impressions of uh, Invictus Victory or Victorioso Victory. The next one is actually from also from Mason Alhambra. This is Exclusive Saffron and Exclusive Saffron. This whole Exclusive line is um, is a line that's cloning um, the uh, the Carolina Herrera, like the Mystery Tobacco and um, the uh, saffron lazuli and all those like really expensive uh, fragrances that they make and this one is saffron lazuli um, and saffron lazuli is a pretty expensive I mean you're you're looking at over $200 for this fragrance so um, I wanted to check it out because this is sub $20 also sub $20 all right so let's let's uh, Let's cut into this and let's check if this one is any good. So far, that first one was awesome. So let's check it out. Okay. All right. So here's the box. It's actually a nicer box than the last one. Uh, really heavy um, cardboard. It has some information in the back. Exclusive saffron. It is 100 milliliters, right? Yeah, 100 milliliters. And then uh, sticker of authenticity was actually pretty important. Now I thought I thought it was kind of weird when they used to put stickers of authenticity, but now you have sellers that are selling fake clones. That's crazy. But anyway, so you pull the you pull the box, 
and there's the fragrance nice and crooked hold up there you go there's the fragrance nice bottle same same a uh, style if you've seen the original same style except the bottle is blue on the original oh <laughs> spoke too soon look at this so the glue didn't hold look at that and it came off so it is what it is man sub twenty dollars i'm not gonna complain that's what it is if i was paying over two hundred dollars or a hundred something dollars i would be complaining all right so the bottle very nice bottle i love the juice the uh it's like concaved in here and there is a, a like a plaque or yes yeah, like a plaque um nice thick glass the cap is heavy but it is also plastic it's pretty heavy not that heavy but it's plastic and uh yeah so let's check out the atomizer and see what it smells like i've never smelled saffron lazuli so if you're clicking on this video trying to get um a, a review whether or not it's close to the original never smelled the original all i could do is be honest with you guys and give you my first impressions and if i think it smells good or not so let's do that here you go okay pretty much the same spray as the last one pretty good but i've seen worse but definitely seen better so this one also doesn't click on I, I you could pick it up from the cap but it is a slide on so i would not do that definitely not do that but it's a nice bottle very nice bottle all right so let's see what we get from this one oh wow okay so this one is definitely different than the invictus victory clone this is a much more serious fragrance um hmm, okay very smooth very very smooth okay so this one um obviously is gonna have some saffron off the bat first thing you get is saffron and i smell rose does it have rose it has like saffron and rose pretty middle eastern fragrance it's a little bit powdery but not very powdery kind of like um like an irisy type of powder you have some dark woods in there you have some smells like a slight leather it has a little bit of sweetness but it is not very sweet it is not like the other one this one is more mature it's more serious more dressed up more dare i say more um more manly if that if 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 I could say that, it's a little bit more manly. It is unisex, I think, because it has a little bit of rose in there and some black currant, and it gives it like this juicy, watery rose. It is very, very good. I need to try this on skin. Wow, it smells really good, really good. Dude, I have to stop doing that. I, I know you guys uh, make fun of me when I smell the paper and I, I tilt my head like this <laughs> like I'm making out with the with the test strip all right let's put some right here see how what what it smells like off skin off the paper man that one smells mm, that one smells great let's see what it smells like off skin oh very yeah dark dark mysterious it has um so the oud and the dark wood in it gives me uh, a, a slight similarity to like to like the one luminous night but it's not it doesn't have the dates it doesn't have that sweetness now there is some sweetness in here and it comes about comes out a little later but this is definitely middle eastern you have to like middle eastern fragrances you like to have you like you have to like uh dark um dark fragrances a little bit more mysterious nighttime cool weather type of fragrances that's what this is in my opinion very good very good very middle eastern um it's definitely a fragrance so to me this is a fragrance that you would use when you are trying to get attention, when you are trying to impress and try to get some reactions. 
this is the type of fragrance that you put on when you are just trying to enjoy the fragrance for yourself. When you just love that bubble around you that smells mysterious and dark. It's definitely like, uh, what do you call that? Like confidence boosting this fragrance, in my opinion. Now, like I said, you have to like Middle Eastern fragrances. You have to like saffron. You have to like more mature and serious fragrances. Okay. That's not for, for someone that's just getting in and likes like, um, the blue fragrances and the shower gel fragrances. That's, I don't know if you're going to like this one, but for more trained nose or even more mature people, this is going to be awesome. You have like a leather oud rose and iris type of fragrance with some saffron black currant that gives it like a juiciness, but it's like a really weird, but it's like a dry juiciness that makes any sense um let me pull up the notes real quick of the original to check out let me see so here we go all right so this one uh let's see okay saffron black currant tonka bean so you have a little bit of sweetness i definitely get that but not much not much sweetness at all more of the saffron and black currant then you have in the middle some iris and some rose definitely get iris and definitely get rose leather guyac wood which is like the western clone version of oud uh not, i wouldn't say clone version but it's not the real thing you know what i mean and you have some vanilla so like i said some sweetness maybe it'll get sweeter as it dries down it becomes a little sweeter actually getting a little sweeter but it's um yeah it's a grown man fragrance so that is I'm, I'm giving that just for fragrance itself i'll give this a nine i think this is awesome this is great this is a great pickup uh, i gotta give it a few wears and i gotta kind of like wear in and and and, and see w my experience with it but first impressions very impressed with both of these and the fact that i got both of these for less than 40 dollars it is unreal unreal so if you're looking for uh invictus victory legend get this one not legend invictus victory get this one and if you're thinking about getting saffron lazuli and you don't want to spend over 200 dollars, then you could try out this one now i haven't smelled the original but <laughs> this one smells really good so that's gonna be it for me guys thank you so much for watching god bless you all and i'll, t I'll check you in the next one leave a comment down below let me know which one of these would you like i try to give you a little bit of both uh the designer realm and the more niche realm uh so a little bit for everybody but which one would you choose out of the designer and the niche tell me in the comments let's have a conversation god bless you all take care